that issue. All right, a live look along the uh, Arkansas River down there to Ozark, Matt. It's just a gorgeous shot. A little warm out there. Let's, uh, you know what the, the, the difference between this shot from last week to this week? Everything's green. Everything's green. Thank for you for some rain, right? But Darren, uh, we could use still more rain. Of course, we're still in the drought. Uh, we've got about, I believe it's a level two drought right there in Ozark. You head a little bit closer to Fort Smith. We dropped down to a level one drought, level three drought in parts of eastern Oklahoma, and a level three drought around Beaver Lake. So we still need some water, but it does look greener after some downpours here and there. Some of us have done fine with these downpours and other of us, you know, you see the downpour off in the distance. We are good. We are clear from downpours tonight for Saturday and Sunday. We're talking about a lot of sun. Temperatures warm. We got some 90s right now, upper 80s and low 90s in northwest Arkansas. We'll be sliding towards the 70s by about 9 o'clock. And the River Valley may take us closer to 11 o'clock or so in order to slide to some 70s. But it's a nice, comfortable, warm evening out there. Perfect, though, if you're wanting to see the meteor shower tonight. Folks have already sent in uh, uh, that they've seen some meteors flying throughout the sky, some shooting stars. The problem is we do have the full moon, so that extra light makes it a little bit tough to see some more of the faint comets, uh, but it's peaking tonight, so get out and enjoy it. Temperatures are warm enough where you can just lay outside and not have to worry about bundling up too much. Here's your weekend forecast. We've got more 90s on the way. In fact, upper 90s by Sunday. Don't be surprised if a few of us hit 100 degrees. If we have that south wind coming back, that's going to help us get a little bit more muggy. And eventually by Sunday, we may start bubbling up a few extra clouds. We'll be rain free, but you know those summertime cumulus clouds try to bubble up. We'll probably have more of those by Sunday. We've got mostly clear skies right now here at home across all of Arkansas and Oklahoma and Kansas for that matter. That front has kept all the rain off towards the south next couple of days. But as that south wind is returning, guys, we're really going to heat up. Much of the central United States is going to be heating up, but it's only temporary because we've got another cold front on the way. This thing's going to swing in by early next week, probably just coming in Monday, really feeling the effects by Tuesday. That's our next weather makers bringing shower and thunderstorm activities to us as well. And on top of that, it's going to bring some below average weather for maybe a, a long stretch of time. We've got a big cool down headed in our way for next week. Until then, though, we're talking about 90s again in northwest Arkansas, maybe a little bit warmer than it was today, a little bit warmer than it was today in the River Valley for your Saturday forecast, and then even warmer for Sunday. We're just going to get warmer and warmer day by day. Here's a look at future cast this evening. Mostly clear. Should be a nice sunset for us across Arkansas and Oklahoma. Nice sunrise tomorrow morning. Very quiet. Uh, we'll be starting in those upper 60s and low 70s. In fact, this morning we had 60s in the River Valley. We haven't had 60 since June, so that was a nice change. Uh, but then we'll warm up throughout the day. Rain free through the weekend, and then rain chances come in next week. Couple changes, though, to talk about. Monday, just, just an isolated shower or two. But I think the heaviest rain may now actually switch more towards Wednesday. That front is coming in a little bit slow. So we'll get a few maybe uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday might be the bigger day for some of that rain. But, Darren, as we're tracking this cold front coming in, I think the heaviest rain will be more towards the central Ozarks and Missouri and in northeast Arkansas. Uh, but after that, you know, we could get skinned by a couple showers here and there. But once that moves through, we're talking about much cooler weather. We've got lots of 80s on the way next week in the River Valley. We may have another 100 in us, but after that, we're going back to 80s and 90s as yeah, well. Much cooler and lasting longer than two or three days staying this cool. I mean, you want to check in that 10-day forecast? Tonight at I'll 10. let you know how long it's going to go, but we're going to be 5, 10 how degrees below that? average. Oh, wow. That's a change. I love that. Yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. Well, who doesn't love a good deal? You